They're here. Oh. We've heard everything. Oh. You're not from health and safety. No. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What are you up to? I'm not sure precisely what game you're playing at, Ethel and Drusilla, but the fact of the matter is that I'm beginning to get extremely suspicious. And I don't want to hear any more stories. I'm going to wait another ten minutes, and if there's still no sign of Mildred and her friends, I'm going to march you straight back to school to see Miss Cackle. And you know how she feels about sneaky and underhand behaviour. What? what? Ah. You can't let them do this. The woods, the animals, our school. Well, you've just got to stand up to him. I try, but I can't. It's true what he says. I am a great soft lump. His heart's in the right place. He's just got no bite. Maybe we could give him some. What? Look at him. Pictured teeth. Quite a few teeth. I see what you mean. Yeah. Come here, Sam. Now, don't panic. It's just a little trick we learned at school. You'll find it quite useful, and the effects will wear off eventually. All together. Alvarix, Orcus, Transdogomorphus, Woofus, Ruffus, Transfers, Matus. This isn't me. It isn't us either. Agreed. And what isn't going on? Excuse me, but before you go, would you mind witnessing the signature for me? And when you see your headmistress, would you tell her, I'm so sorry. she know what I mean. Well, Mrs. Kersey, oh. it's decision time. It's now or never. If I were in your position, I know what I'd do. Aha. If I were in your position, Percy Slice, I know what I wouldn't do. Miss Cackle? That's right. The headmistress of the imaginary school you were happy to see choked out of existence. And what I wouldn't do is lay one finger on that contract. Mildred! It's all been a wicked plot, Mrs. Cozy, to take your tea rooms and turn them into a filthy incinerator. You can call it what you like, girl, but there are millions at stake here, and this is all I need to put them my way. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, I'm afraid. Quite so, Mr. Slice. Mildred. Sick him, Sam. <laughs> I've declared this an afternoon out. You know what that means. A holiday. More than that, tomorrow we will forget that we were here together. An afternoon that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Miss Hardbroom. Have the scorn. Leave that day-to-day dog-eat-dog -dog world at the door. This is Cozy's. Sam, we forgot all about him. <laughs> Good boy, Sam. We saved you a biscuit. Thanks. But I've had a few bones on the way. I think for services to all kinds of poor defenseless creatures. It's Mildred who should take the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs>